Hello guys and welcome back to So That's Gaming and another 3DS mods video. So this time what we're going to do, we're going to get our 3DS set up. It's got custom Luma 3DS custom firmware installed on it. And we are going to install a program called Twilight Menu Plus uh, Plus. This is used so that you can play your DS games and it allows you to launch other um game backups or the ROMs so so first thing we're going to do we're going to go ahead and install this program it's an FTP program uh, links will be available in the description and you're going to download a program like FileZilla for example and uh, is a FTP server for your computer and this is called FTPD Pro this is what we are installing on our 3DS uh, the file we'll be downloading is this one right down here, this ftpd.cia. So we'll just load that up in our own in our FBI program on our 3DS and get that installed. And then uh, when we run it, when it launches it, it starts up a uh, server and allows us to transfer files more easily. Now, because the access to the SD card on the 3DS isn't super fast, uh, using this to transfer your games and your game backups to the SD card is uh, not really recommended. It'd be easier just to take your SD card out, put it in your computer, and copy whatever programs or CIAs you plan on installing. Now, if they're small, a few megs here and there, that's one thing. So, Okay, so next... After we get all that done, well, there's a couple more things we're going to download. We're going to download this Twilight Menu Updater and the Twilight Menu. We're going to, in this case, I'm downloading the Twilight Menu 3DS version since that's what we're since we have custom firmware. That's what we're going to use. Now, once we get that installed or downloaded, I should say. Um, we're just going to extract that to a folder somewhere and then we can copy that over using our FTP connection here and inside this uh, archive you can extract it extract it with either 7-zip or WinRAR or your other your own favorite compression utility inside that we're going to copy everything to the root of the SD card and you can move the CIAs to the CIA folder if you want. doesn't really matter. Now, in your ROMs folder, though, um, your ROMs, uh, here they have a couple different folders for, you know, Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, Sega Genesis, Sega Master System, SNES, NES, Nintendo DS, Game Gear, and your ROMs that you copy over, um, they can't be compressed. They have to be uncompressed so your .gb files your .gbc files etc etc they can't be zips rars seven zips nothing they have to be uncompressed in addition to all this we'll go over here this is my 3ds in the underscore gba folder we'll need to put a game boy advance bios in order for them to launch properly um, i will not be providing a link to getting a Game Boy Advance uh, BIOS, uh, use Google, find one yourself. I, I won't provide it. It should be easily found with some simple Googling. So, back in our 3DS, after we copy these files over using our FTP, uh, note that the Twilight menu will take a little while because there's like 1,760 files they need to be copied over and it will take a few minutes while well, the package is only about 26 megs because there's a lot of files it will take a little while to transfer anyhow moving back over to the 3ds here go ahead and hit start and i'll take you back to the home uh screen um and exit so after we run fbi and we install the cis that we installed first thing we're going to do we're going to run this twilight menu updater Okay, after this opens up, there will be a couple things that we'll need to select. Let's let this load up here. 
First, it's going to ask you if you want to scan for updates. I'm just going to hit B and hit cancel since we're not going to go through that. Now, here you have the Twilight menu releases and nightly builds. The I would recommend staying with the releases just because they're not betas. They're they're they like the stable releases where nightlies are your like incremental updates to you know that could be broken, could work, could crash, you know whatever. So, in order, here's what we will be clicking from top to bottom, left to right. We'll start with the Twilight menu plus plus. After that's done, it'll take a few minutes because it's going to re-download it and extract everything. Um, and then we're going to uh, click the NDS Bootstrap. That will allow it to um, launch your DS games. Otherwise, uh, without a flashcard, you, you have no way of bootstrapping. Um, then we're going to install the update, which is this program we're using right now. This will download and install the latest release. Then we can click Cheats and then click Extras. Under Extras, let me see if I can show you right quick. Under Extras, there's a, another couple options. Box Art and Themes. Um, what you can do, you can select Box Art and you can choose it to scan your entire SD card. And what that will do, it will find any ROMs that you have on here and it'll download the Box Art accordingly. Um, so far, Mine haven't loaded up properly, but your results may vary. So if you have better luck than I do, congratulations. After we're done with this, we can go ahead and exit this and hit the home button. You know, we can go back to the home screen here, close that. All right, so now that that's all done, I have a couple ROMs installed just to show for demonstration purposes. Unfortunately, my streaming app on my 3DS does not work when I go into the Twilight mode. So we're going to go ahead and switch back over here to this regular camera. Yay! All right, so we're going to, let's go ahead and select the Twilight menu here. We'll launch that. Now, don't be discouraged. When it launches, it'll go to a white screen. And it might sit there for up to a minute. Um, it just sometimes it loads quicker and sometimes it'll load slower. You know, your revolt, results will vary. I've had mine load at this point and then other times a little bit longer like it is now. So just be patient and it'll boot up. If you've ever had an old school Nintendo DSi, uh, the upcoming screen should look familiar. There we are. DSi on the bottom of the screen says touch the touch screen to continue. And this will go to like the old school DS menu. Uh, it doesn't look that impressive from here. So, for starters, this down here will configure all the Twilight menu settings. Uh, some of them are fairly self explanatory, some of them mess with at your own risk, kind of thing. And this right here will allow you to, to either show or hide different types of ROMs. So, I don't have everything you know shown because I don't have a lot of these um, a lot of these settings I'm not really too sure about so I'm not really gonna mess with them too much and it gives you a kind of description of what each one of these settings does let's see and we're gonna run in DSI mode let's see and this is the bootstrap that you use you can choose between the NDS bootstrap or uh, there's another one um, uh, GDA runner, I think. Um, now you can still use this to go ahead and um, launch your um, DS uh, flashcards if you have one. Um, I have a couple. I, have, I don't have any here handy to show you, I don't think. Uh, here, yeah. So. If you have like a flash card like you know the DS2 for example, this can be used to still launch that and launch all your other applications. Moving right along, uh, miscellaneous settings, language settings, blah 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 blah. Um, the flash splash screen. So if you remember on the original DSi, when you first turned on, it would give you that that health and safety message uh, on the bottom screen. You can choose to still show that if you want, if you want. And that's it. So we're gonna hit. Uh, be here and we'll go back to the menu 
All right. Now, if I hit B again, it's going to go to our browser so we can launch other games and titles. There we are. All right. So first, it'll start in like a root. So you just have to find your... your um, I wish you could see that a little better. Let's see if I can get to the focus area. So... That was a little bright. Maybe I should chose a different theme. But these are the different folders. So we'll start with the Game Boy. And as you see, uh, yeah, see, my things aren't showing for some reason. I'm not sure why that is. But anyways, we'll go ahead and launch. Uh, this is a uh, Game Boy. Uh, yeah. There you are. Old school Game Boy. One of these buttons, yeah. Okay, so the Y button for the Game Boy games will make it full screen. And it's just like any other game, it has the audio. Alright. If you hold the left and right buttons, it'll bring you back to here. So we're going to quit pack to the launcher. Now, as I said before, let me go and let me switch this theme. Maybe I can make that a little bit easier to see. Um, let's see theme. Let's go ahead and try homebrew launcher. Why not? We'll, we'll check that out. Alright, let's go to B. Oh, okay. That should be a little easier to see. Alright, let's go back and then we're going to go try uh, Game Boy Advance. Now, like I said before, this route does require the G uh, Game Boy Advance BIOS file. So if you don't have that, you'll have to find that and download it and put that in the folder that we talked about earlier. And so these launch kind of the same way. The old school Game Boy Advance startup screen there. Um, the, the display seems messed up. I don't know if it has something to do with the Game Boy or the uh, NDS bootstrap or, or what. Um, but yeah, so quit back to the ROM browser here. Oh, unfortunately, it doesn't always work the way we want it to, so you might have to start the Twilight browser. So let me get this restarted and I'll be right back. Okay. And last but not least if you notice in the menu in the bottom down there it does show the last game or application that's been launched so it'll be there already let's see we're gonna go to the nds and we're gonna show demonstrate one more game here and there's showing nds bootstrap there and this is uh the game here. Uh, I like if you can't tell, it's Zelda. <laughs> so there we go. That's uh, that's everything. So that's so in this video, we just a quick review. We uh, installed a FTP program on our computer and on our DS to make file transfers to the 3DS a little bit easier. We downloaded and installed the Twilight Menu Updater as well as Twilight Menu. Installed those, configured those, and demonstrated it running. So that will be it for this video thank you guys so much for watching if you liked it be sure to leave me a comment in the comment section below and if you have any suggestions of future content you can leave those in the comment sections below as well if you haven't already done so be sure and click that subscribe button get subscribe subscribed and keep coming back for more gaming type videos here at so that's gaming and if you want to be part of that notification squad never miss another video go ahead and click that bell icon that way you will not miss another one of my videos whenever i upload thanks again for watching and i if you haven't you know hopefully all this works out for you and it wasn't too confusing and i guess we'll see you next time thanks again for watching peace